안녕하세요. Welcome to another Korean live class with me from Talk to Me in Korean. My screen just went black. So today we're talking about 가전 제품. Okay, people are starting to come in. Again, this is a necessary announcement for everyone who's joining a little later after the live class is over. You will find all the timestamps, all the time information in the first pinned comment of this video so that you can find the necessary parts to um, parts of this lesson. Let me just turn something on. Yeah, um, later on. So, 안녕하세요, Monsieur Free. Welcome back. I remember you joining the class before. Hello from London. 안녕하세요, 선생님. Hello, good morning from the Philippines. Um, finally caught it on time. Arli, 안녕하세요. So I'm going to send out a tweet on Twitter with this link, okay? One second. 잠시만 기다려주세요. 지금 트위터에 링크를 내보낼 거예요. 어, 지금 수업하고 있어요. 빨리 오세요. 라고. Uh, I will say, we're having a class. Hurry up. Come join us. Okay. Twitter, control V, control C. 갑니다. By the way, in Korean too, we say control V, control, no, control C, control V. Or even using the English pronunciation, control C, control V. Um, we use it all the time. Or we say 복사 하기, 붙여넣기. 복사하기 is copying and 붙여넣기 is pasting. So copy and paste. We just say the first two syllables. 복붙. 복붙. <laughs> so people often say this about me and my sons because they look a lot like me. So 복붙. 복붙. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be reading some comments from you guys a little later on. More comments a little later on. But let me start at the class. So today, we are talking about 가전제품. 가전제품. <laughs> you were watching Pororo when you got the notification. 안녕하세요 from Qatar. Hey Dana. Hello from Germany. Hello from Hawaii. Okay, so if we do the live class at this hour, we get a lot of um, people from various countries. Hello from Italy. Argentina. Holland. Texas. USA. Colombia. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. You're from France, Florida, Ukraine, Chicago. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Everybody representing their countries, um, studying some Korean, um, either late at night or early on. Okay. So let me begin. Today, um, I want to introduce some home appliances vocabulary. And these uh, uh, appliances names are not difficult to look up in a dictionary, but even though they are easy to look up in a dictionary, I wanted to introduce them because you can use your free time to go online to talktomekorean.com to learn grammar points, okay? We have all of our essential courses all freely available for everyone who is a member of the website and you can learn one grammar point after another. But sometimes you can be lacking some vocabulary to put in the sentences that you are learning to form. So I want to give you more vocabulary um, through the upcoming live classes. And 가전제품, like names like 냉장고, refrigerator, aircon, air conditioner, they are easy to learn, but sometimes hard to put in a sentence, okay? So please study with me really really hard today so that you can be talking about all the things that you see at least the home appliances in sentences okay by the way if you are joining for the third time or fourth time you might know that i have trouble turning off this screensaver on this computer on at my home um i turned it off uh, with the imac at the office but this one <laughs> Anyway, so this is the most important part of this class, okay? 가전제품 is home appliance. 가전, 가 is home. 전 is electricity. 제품 is product. But the most important thing is the verbs. The verbs that you use with 가전제품. So 
there are mainly three or four, okay? So I'll type them. 쓰다, okay? If you can take notes somewhere, please take note with me. 쓰다, so this, this conjugates to 써요, okay? To use, use. And 틀다. 틀다 is to, like, actually it means to turn or twist, but it means to turn on something, okay? 틀다. 틀다. 틀어요. So this is used with, um, yes, will this be available later? Yes, it will be saved later. Um, 틀다, 틀어요. Uh, you turn something on. And 돌리다. This is the most interesting one, I think. 돌리다. 돌리다 means to turn something, okay? 돌리다. But whenever you can picture a large motor inside a machine, you say 돌리다, like a vacuum cleaner, okay? There's a vacuum cleaner and there's a motor, and it sucks, you know, all the dust into the machine. That's 돌리다. Uh, 돌려요. And then 켜다. 켜요. To turn on something. So. Um, even if you know all the names for your home appliances, if you don't know these verbs, you can't form sentences. So these are very, very, very important, okay? <laughs> um, Daniel White, if this is too difficult for you, well, you can still learn. You can just practice with me. If you can pick up at least one sentence from this live class, that's a win for you. So please repeat after me. 쓰다, 써요, are you repeating? Okay, 쓰다, 써요, I use. 틀다, 틀어요, I turn something on. 돌리다, 돌려요, I use, I turn something on and use, usually with a motor in it. And 켜다, 켜요, to turn something on, okay? Perfect. So let's use four, uh, these four verbs with a lot of names, actually, um, I have written all the names that I want to introduce today. Let me read them real quick. And if you already know all the names and you know how to talk about using all of these devices, you can leave. <laughs> Class dismissed for you. But if you, if you find something new, stay, okay? This live class will last about um, 40, 45 minutes and I will also answer some questions later on, okay? And by the way, if you have to go, um, f how many hours later? Uh, it'll be eight hours later at 3 p.m. KSD, 3 p.m. Korean Standard Time. I will do another live class today at 3 p.m., okay? So you can join us again then. So, 냉장고, 김치 냉장고, 에어컨, 전자레인지, 가스레인지, 오븐, 에어프라이어, 가습기, 공기청정기, 식기세척기, Television, IPTV, AI speaker, 다리미, mixer, 선풍기, hair dryer or dryer, 전기장판, 진공청소기, 로봇청소기. Okay, if you know everything, yeah, class dismissed for you. <laughs> but yeah, if you need to learn these names, please stay with me. All right. So 냉장고, 냉장고 is a refrigerator. Okay, 냉장고. 냉 is cold, 장 is keeping something, you know, 냉장. Um, a lot of um, products that are delivered to our house has 냉장보관 written on the package. Oops, where is the cursor? 냉장보관 or 냉동보관. 보관 is keeping something in a, in a storage so 냉장보관 means keep it refrigerated okay 냉동보관 keep it frozen did this class just start yes um roughly about nine minutes ago so 냉장고 so refrigerator 냉장고 냉장고 you you never turn it on it's always on right so in this in this case 냉장고를 you say 냉장고 문, the door of the refrigerator. 냉장고 문을 열다. 냉장고 문을 열, 열다. 냉장고 문을 닫다. So 냉장고 문을 열어요. 냉장고 문을 닫아요. Yes, Yuri and Juni are still sleeping. Fortunately for me. 
so that I can focus. I think they will wake up a little uh, later. Okay. Perfect. And kimchi nengjango. We've, um, we bought our first refrigerator. I've been married for nine years now. And when we uh, moved in together, when we got married and, you know, started buying all the home appliances, we bought this refrigerator like with a huge floral pattern on it. It's really pretty, but it's already been nine years that we've been using, we started using that refrigerator and my mom has been telling us, you should get a refrigerator, kimchi refrigerator. You should get a kimchi nengjango. And we've been telling, no, we don't really need that more, that much more space. But we finally ordered one. So a brand new kimchi nengjango is coming. Uh, yeah, kimchi nengjango is basically kimchi refrigerator. But what it does is it it's supposed to make your kimchi more tasty and uh, you can just think of it as a huge uh, freezer, a huge freezer. You can put all the freeze, uh, frozen food in there. I don't know. So kimchi nengjango is basically kimchi refrigerator. I will tell you what it does, what kind of magic it has, um, a magical effect it has on my life after we receive it, probably today or tomorrow. But um, I think we are a rarity. We are like an exception. Most households in Korea have kimchi nengjango. Okay. Aircon, aircon. You can guess it, right? Aircon, air conditioner. Aircon is, um, again, aircon을 켜다. Aircon을 끄다. So, aircon 켜도 돼요. Can I turn on the air conditioning? Aircon 꺼도 돼요. Can I turn off the air conditioning? And if you want to be more polite when you ask this question, aircon 좀, you can make a request or a question a little more soft by using 좀, okay? Aircon 좀 켜도 돼요. You can be doing like this, like, you know, ah, 더워요, 더워요, aircon 좀 켜도 돼요. Or, oh, 추워요, aircon 좀 꺼도 돼요. Of course, there are other phrases. These are like endless phrases that I want to uh, introduce. Aircon, aircon, 온도를 높이다. To make the temperature go up on your air conditioning. Aircon, 온도를 낮추다. Yeah, make it cooler. All right, 전자레인지. Can you guess what 전자레인지 is? If you can guess it, if you don't have to, if you don't have time to type it, say it out loud. I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Yes, um, 전자레인지 is actually, uh, okay, some people are saying stove. Stove is this one, 가스레인지. 가스레인지. So, um, gas stove is 가스레인지. Um, I don't know exactly why we say 레인지 for stoves, but we say it all the time and 가스레인지 is the spelling, but 가스 is how people say most of the time, 가스레인지. And they also even shorten it to um, something like 가스레인지, like that. And the same goes for 전자레인지. This is a microwave oven, okay? Microwave oven. And people often also say 전자레인지. And when you turn on the microwave, think about the verbs, okay? Today, it's all about the verbs that go along with the home appliances. Sophia, thank you for the super chat comment. How to differentiate a and o? This a, the first one, a is a, a. Okay, I will put ing. A, a, a. When you are thinking about what to say next, you know, you say a, right? And O is basically the same as the alphabet letter O, okay? O, uh, O, perfect. Right, back to 전자레인지. When you turn on the microwave oven, it turns, right? 조명, 조명 켰어요. <laughs> 켰, 켰는데 이게 사무실 조명처럼 밝진 않아서 네, 네 그리고 
저희 방 조명도 그렇게 밝지 않아요. All right. Um, yeah. So the thing turns. So you say 전자레인지를 전자레인지를 돌려요. Or you can 돌려 your food in a microwave oven. So 전자레인지에 돌려서 먹었어요. <laughs> If you actually uh, literally translate it, it's funny. So you span it in, you, you know, made the food spin in the microwave oven and you ate it. Okay. 전자레인지에 돌려서 먹어요. Do, you know, you don't just spin it, you heat it up, right? Or you can also say actually heat it up. 전자레인지에 전자레인지로 데워서 먹었어요. 데우다 is to heat something up. Perfect. All right. I see other um, comments and questions. I will get back to them later. Samuel Augusto, thanks for the class. 감사합니다. Thank you for the super chat comment. It really helps. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Ah, uh, Fatima. Uh, no entiendo, pero está bien. <laughs> well, stay with us. Okay. And then, gas range, gas range, gas range를 불 gas range를 켜다 to turn on the uh, gas stove or gas range. 불을 켜다 to turn on the fire uh, uh, of you know the burners. 불을 켜다 불 켜세요 불 끄세요 or 불을 줄이다 불을 키우다 불을 줄이다. To make the burner stronger or weaker, like the fire stronger or weaker. 키우다, 줄이다. Lots of interesting verbs, right? 오븐. 오븐, 오븐을 켜다. 오븐, um, it's an oven. And an essential word that you need to do, know is preheating, right? 예열하다. Preheating your oven. 예, you can see 예 in 예약, right? Reservation. Make a reservation. 예약하다. 예 is pre something, and yeah, it's a conventional oven. Uh, 예, 열 is fire or heat. Heat more more like heat. So 예열하다. Yes, induction. Induction is an induction stove. I guess. I guess that's what you are, what you refer to, um, when you say induction. We don't have one. Yeah. Okay. Temperature, by the way, is 온도. 온도. All right. And in Korea, air fryer is all the rage. It's so, so popular these days. And uh, everyone is either, everyone either has one or looking into one. So air fryer, air fryer. Um, so we use, it all, we use this all the time for pork cutlets or dumplings or many things. 가습기. 가습기. This is something that a lot of countries don't use, I guess. 가습기 is a humidifier. So Korea, uh, just like many other countries around the world where the seasonal changes are big, I think the cost that um, is a result of the seasonal changes is huge. So, so for example, um, When you compare somebody's lifestyle in a place like Florida or Hawaii and somebody's life in a year um, in Korea, it's so different. Arli Benitez, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us during these times. Thank you for the super chat comment of $10. Thank you so much. 감사합니다. Um, I enjoy this and I want to help you more. Okay, 가습기. So a lot of uh, season changes cost us uh, more money because we have to buy these huge winter jackets. Winter jackets in Korea are like no joke expensive. They, are, they can go up to $300, $400, $600. Um, and in, win no, in the summer, we have other devices for the summer. So anyway, 가습기 is one of them. In the winter, the air can be really, really dry. And Korea has, Korean houses has, have um, floor heating, so the air can be quite dry. If you just turn on the floor heating, floor heating is ondol. You turn on the boiler, the heater, and then the floor is hot, 
and warm, but the air is dry, so you have to have a ka sepki. Ka is adding, sep is humidity, ki is a machine or device, so ka sepki. Okay? Um, yeah, I see a lot of co uh, comments and questions that are not related to this topic, but it's fine. Uh, I, I will try to get back to the questions a little later on, okay? Okay, 공기 정전기 is also quite common in Korea because of the fine dust, micro dust situation that happens in the spring and yeah, throughout the year. So 공기 정전기, I think it's good to have um, air purifier or air cleaner, 공기 정전기. Okay. Yeah, 공기 정전기. 공기 is air. 청정, 청정 is clean. So 청정기 is air cleaner. Yeah, 미세먼지. 미세먼지 is the micro dust. 식기 세척기. 식기 세척기, uh, does it help with the allergies? I think so, I think so, yeah. And even with the uh, 공기 청정기, it is essential to vent the room, uh, vent out the room from time to time. And um, whenever we cook, like we have three <laughs> air, clean, air purifiers in the house, one in this room, one in that room, and one in the living room. And whenever we, we do something, we fry something in the kitchen, all the small particles from the cooking, you know, they fly over to the living room area and the 공기 청정기's LED light is like red and it's like 빨리 빨리 돌아요. So 공기 청정기도 you can say 켜다, 끄다. 식기 세척기, dishwasher. Uh, I'm not sure if it helps with uh, asthma. Mm, 천식, asthma is 천식. But it must be, you know, it must be better than not, nothing, I guess, because it, it um, cleans the air, it removes a lot of dust from the air. So, 식기 세척기 is a dishwasher. 식기 is your dishes, your utensils. And 세척 is one way to say to wash. It's a formal word for, it's a difficult word for washing. So. 세척, you see this quite a lot with like um, medical devices or uh, any um, professional device. 세척, okay? Ki is again machine. 식기 세척 is a dishwasher. 세탁기 is a washing machine, okay? 세탁기 is. 세탁기 and 식기 세척기 are very different. 식기 um, 세척기 is also becoming more common in Korea, although um, a lot of old apartments and houses don't have a place for a uh, 식기 세척기. Like, apartments that are built now already come with a, either an actual 식기 세척기 or an, an area for a 식기 세척기 where you can buy one and put it in. But um, we had to buy one and actually put it on top of our counter. So it helps. It's really useful. And just like 세탁기, washing machine, just like your vacuum cleaner, 식기 세척기 also has this thing that is turning inside, right? Okay, Megan, hello from Indiana. I really enjoy the lives. Thank you so much. Thanks so, so much for the super chat comment. Um, yeah, you have a desktop dishwasher too? Yes, I guess it's similar to the one that we have. So you use the verb, 돌리다. So we um, often have guests come over, and um, they some of them, you know, when they want, when they're about to leave, they're like, oh, 정리 좀 같이 할게요, 같이 치워요. You know, because the kitchen table is messy, the living room can be messy from the kids playing together with all the toys. So they say, oh, let's tidy up together. And we can say, don't worry, we'll tidy up later. 나중에 치우면 돼요, 그냥 가세요. And then one of them can be doing the you know dishes, and then we can say, oh, 나중에 식기 세척기 돌리면 돼요. We can just use the 식기 세척기 later. Perfect. Um, all right. And television, you probably already know television. Television, 
TV, 아, 상하 미트라 로이 커다란 계획. It means a big plan. Okay. So yeah, 치우다, 치우다 is to tidy up. 치우다 either means to remove something or to tidy up a certain area. 텔레비전 is 텔레비전 or TV. Monica, it's your first time attending a live class. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I hope it's not your last live class. Okay. TV or TP is fine too. TP. Okay. Um, Maria, is there a difference between kyoda and tilda? Well, um, it, they both mean turn on something, but tilda is usually used with uh, tele television, like used with certain devices, not with everything. So, um, for example, the light, like an LED light, do you see it? Yeah, so with a light or a lamp, you never say tilda, you say kyoda, you turn it on by just tapping on the switch or the button. Tilda is usually because it means to turn. When you can picture a, a turning knob or something, you say tilda. Um, I don't know how, how old or young you guys are. Like, of course, there will be various ages, age ranges, but I still remember my first television when I was um, five you know, turning to, 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 and the TV was black and white, of course. To, 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 to. So, tilda was a very natural verb that went with the machine. Okay. Computer, computer, when you think about computers, you don't say tilda, you say kyoda. Okay. IPTV, uh, um, IPTV, Internet Protocol TV, it's basically like, cable television, it's, you have a console like an Apple TV. Apple TV is a type of IPTV. So instead of relying on your antennas for your television, people rarely use antennas anymore or yeah, TVs don't come with like antennas that are sticking out anymore. So they rely on the internet, the LAN cable that comes into the room and there's a little setup box, right? Um, yeah, so that's IPTV. We just say IPTV like that. So in Korea, we have three major mass com uh, no communications companies, uh, telecom telecommunications com companies, and that's SK, LG, U Plus, KT, Ole. So these are the three companies that you can choose your service from if you live in Korea. And SK Broadband uses uh, BTV. Yeah, BTV. I think I might be wrong. <laughs> um, we're using this one. We were using this, this one before and before that we used this. I think for us, LGU Plus is the better one. So IPTVs. And it's funny because whenever you switch from one company to another company, the other company will actually give you cash like to to help you make your make up your mind. Hey, um, if you change from that service to our service, we'll give you cash on top of paying your cancellation fee for the other service. So it's a very big competition. So how do you say turn on the TV? Is it TV 를 TV 켜다 TV 를 켜다 TV 켜, 켰어요. I turned on the television. Susan, thank you. I have been so confused about these verbs for different appliances. Well, thank you for the super chat comment of $10. Thank you so much. It helps. All right. Perfect. Um, to start a car, um, you say 시동. 시동을 걸다. To start a car. To start the engine of a car. 시동. 시동. I started the car. Okay? Perfect. When using a remote control, remote con um, remote to turn on the TV or any other device with a remote control, remote or remote 
Nil Sida to use a remote control, depending on what you do with the remote, okay? Or I think the most common action that you do, people around the world, um, is to look for it, right? Remote con. 어디 어디 있지? Remote con 어디 있지? Where is the remote? Remote con 찾아봐. Find the remote. Okay. All right. Perfect. Let's move on to the next one. AI speaker. Yeah, AI speakers. Uh, are schools open in Korea? They're not yet. So uh, the official day for opening schools has been postponed several times and kids have been staying at home for many weeks. And I think they're talking about just skipping because Korean semesters, school semesters start in March and then we have, uh, it's been a while, but uh, I, so I, I don't know, but they, the semester, first semester of the year finishes in late June and they have two months off and then they, the next semester starts in September, but they're thinking of actually making the summer vacation shorter or something like that. So yeah, the the next announced date for the semester starting is actually the sixth of April. Okay, what is the difference between 세상 and 세계? We have a detailed video on our channel about that difference. So please just type "world" or "세상" or "세계" in the search bar of our channel, and you will see it. Okay. Mm hmm. Rachel, how about preheating an oven to a certain temperature? So we talked about oven here. Um, oven을 200도로 예열하다. So to a certain temperature, you say so and so 도로. 도 is degree, temperature, degree. So 200도, 200 degrees, 300도, 300 degrees, 로. Perfect. Let's go over to Remokon and AI speaker. Um, AI speaker, you might already have one, like the Amazon Alexa, Google Home, or something like that. We have something that's really popular. Two devices that are really popular is Jini from Ole or KT, Korea Telecom or Kakao Mini. Um, I actually have both. I gave my genie to my my dad so that he can use it as an internet router and Kakao Mini at home. And I didn't buy either of them. They were just given to me by the companies <laughs> because their competition is really, really, yeah strong and I mean their competition is really high and they are always trying to compete with the other com companies to make sure that more houses have their devices. Okay. Tarimi. Tarimi. What is Tarimi? Is the iron. Tarimi. Um, steam Steam tarimi is also quite popular in Korea. Instead of having the steel plate, you just have a plastic, a strong plastic panel, and then steam comes out of it. So tarimi is an iron. And mixer is a blender. Blender. So this one also, because it turns and there's a motor, so mixer gi. Oh, yeah, mixer or mixer key. There are some words that are like that, that have key at the end, even though without the key, um, without the letter key, it makes perfect sense. Mixogi. So, mixogi를 mixogi를 돌리다. Mixogi를 쓰다. Mixogi에 갈다. To grind something in a blender. Mixogi에 갈아요. Okay? 선풍기. You might already know. This is an easy one. It's a fan. It's an electric fan, 선풍기. Hair dryer, hair dryer, hair dryer. Um, blender, well, 
blend, the word blend, blender in Korean for blenders, um, I, I don't think it's that common yet, okay? It's not that common. Uh, you can still find products that are being sold as blender on online shopping malls, but I think most people still refer to blenders as mixer or mixer you. And hair dryer, hair dryer, but people also say dry key, dry, yeah, dry um, device, okay? 전기 장판. 전기 장판 is, 장판 is basically the floor mats, plastic mats that you see in Korean homes, you know, not carpets, but really thin floor mats that are already there, like um, at the very bottom, 장판. But 전기 장판 means it's basically like a blanket with electric um, wires going through and, or you can have water going through hot like heated water going through the blanket and yeah so 전기 장판 is an electric heated blanket people use it quite often last two words yeah 진공 청소기 진공 청소기 진공 is a vacuum you know 진공 청소기 you already know that inside of a vacuum cleaner there's no real vacuum you know there's still air it's just air flying in one direction it was i think clever marketing term so 진공 we still use the same thing 진공 청소기 청소 is cleaning key is a machine so 진공 청소기 say it quickly with me 진공 청소기 진공 청소기 so 진공 청소기를 돌리다 you turn it you use it um, you don't have to say 진공 청소기 all the time. Just say 청소기. 청소기 돌리다. So you spilled something and there's dust everywhere. 청소기 돌릴게요. I will vacuum it. I will vacuum it. Yeah. Okay, and then robot 청소기 is also quite popular and common in Korea. Robot 청소기. Robot vacuum cleaner. Okay, yes, it, it is live. The class is a live class and it'll be saved for later watching, a little later once it's over. Oh, rice cooker, papsot. Yes, papsot. Papsot or jeonggi papsot. You know, papsot, sot is a pot for cooking stuff. It's usually tall and wide, it's round and Papsot is a rice cooking pot, but jeonggi papsot is a rice cooker. And kuku that you mentioned is a popular brand. All right. Um, 청소기를 사용하다, yeah, you can use it. Perfect. So I will, I introduced everything, all the words that I've prepared for you guys. And this one, this list is the most important important part of the class. Um, if you didn't know these verbs before, I hope this was a useful session. And let me answer some questions that you asked earlier by scrolling up again before I go, okay? By the way, this afternoon at 3 p.m., uh, I, I don't have them here in my room uh, at my house now, but I will be streaming from my office and I will int introduce all the words that are written on the Talk To Me In Korean stickers that are sending out right now uh, with the books because we're having a two-week sale for the spring season. Um, so many of you were wondering, what does this mean? What does that mean? So we will also post an Instagram post explaining everything in English, but I think I can give more details about the little phrases, like the cute phrases that are written on the stickers in person. Okay, let's uh, look at some comments. Chiuda. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, can I explain chiuda again? Chiuda. So imagine you are at a coffee shop or a restaurant where you are served something at your table okay and then somebody a server comes along and asks you 치워드릴까요? 치워드릴까요? 
And then you can say, 네, 치워주세요. Yes, you can take it away. So 치우다 is whenever something is in front of you that is not very tidy, it's a little bit messy, even dirty, you say 치우다. You remove it from the place to a place where it belongs, right? It can also mean tidy up. 방, 방 치우다. 방좀 치우다. So a mom or a dad can come into a kid's room and say, 방좀 치워. Yeah, 방좀 정리해. 방좀 방 정리해. Like that. So 치우다 is what it, what, it's, uh, what it means. Okay. Andrea Benny, um, is this phrase okay? 집에 있고 건강하세요. I mean, it makes sense. Um, let me make it a little, a little more natural. Um, it's not a common slogan in Korea right now, like stay at home and stay safe or stay healthy. 집에 있으세요. 건강 um, 유의하세요. Something like that. Um, if you were to use it as a slogan. Uh, 집에 yeah, 외출을 삼가세요. Refrain from going outside. It's it's something that you would use. Um, 건강 uh, 건강 잘 챙기세요. Take care. Take a good care of your health. There can be a million of other things that you can say. Oh, uh, what is the difference between 밥 and 쌀? 밥 is cooked rice. Sal is raw rice. And I saw this comment. Yun Kia, 여기는 아침 6시예요, 지금. 선생님, 저 진짜 열심히 공부하고 있죠? Yes, you are studying so hard if you are watching at 6 a.m. from there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a good one. How would you ask Siri to set a timer? I have set my phone to Korean and it doesn't quite understand me well. Well, this can be a topic for another live session and I can actually do it with you in real time. But you can say, Shiriya, uh, I've never done it in Korean. Timer 설정해줘. Yes, Shiriya, timer 설정해줘. Or you can say, Shiriya, 10분 timer 시작해줘. Something like that. To do the laundry, 네, live 맞습니다. 네. To do, the, to do the laundry is 빨래. Oh, yes. Re, do you remember the verb? 돌리다. 세탁기를 돌리다 is to do the laundry in the washing machine or uh, 빨래를 돌리다. You even say 돌리다 about 빨래. Okay. Yeah, or 빨래하다. Alright, some more uh, comments. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I think I've uh, answered many of them earlier. Okay. Um, Dark Shadow asks, how do you say may or may not in Korean? May or may not in Korean? May you may do something, you may not do something. In that case, you say 할 수도 있고, 안할 수도 있어. So you can, of course, change this part to another verb. 을 수도 있고, 안 을 수도 있어. So 할 수도 있고, 안할 수도 있어. Will you buy it? I may or may not buy it. 살 수도 있고, 안살 수도. Will you go there? I may or may not go there. 갈 수도 있고 안갈 수도 있어요. Okay? Perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. Estefani, how do you say do your bed? Okay, do your bed. Mm. Like make your bed, right? 침대. Mm. Like, so when you wake up and when you are tidying up your bed, you say, 이불을 
keda, like you fold your blankets, ibuul keda, or ibuul를 정 이부 자리를 정리하다, or 침대를 정리하다. 정리 is also tidy up. So 침대를 침대 정리해, tidy up, like make your bed, do your bed. 이불개, fold your blankets. Okay. Um, two more questions before I go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 오늘 커피 안 마시네요. Yes, um, I will drink my coffee. I'm saving my coffee for when I arrive at the office. Because there are really nice coffee shops around my office. I, it's funny because I even have a video on my personal channel where I talk about um, what I experienced when I quit coffee for six weeks and um, it was amazing. But I'm back to drinking coffee. 아무튼 커피는 나중에 사무실 가서 마실 거예요. Okay, <laughs> you remember that video? <laughs> okay, how would you say the food is being cooked in the oven? Uh, 음식은 음식을 오븐으로 요리하고 있어요. In Korea, when you talk about objects, objects are, um, I wouldn't say not often, but sometimes you have to change the subject and the person has to be the subject, okay? Yeah. Which mask Koreans use? Um, a lot of different brands, um, yeah. So it's just, uh, I think they're all KF49, KF80, the, the numbers, uh, but yeah, there are many, many brands. So I don't know which one people most commonly use. Do I ever go to Pundang? Yes, sometimes I go to Pundang because of the uh, neighbor uh, headquarters. I sometimes have meetings there. All right. Okay, I should be looking up here on the laptop because it's just cover it's going up so fast on my phone one more question and i will go drive to my office okay i'll just scroll down all the way oh okay this is a very difficult set of words okay liz what is the difference between 전염병, 감염병, 감염증, 역병, 유행병, 유행성, 법유행, 발병? Okay, uh, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know all the details, but I can tell you which ones are not commonly used, which ones are commonly used. Okay, 발병. 발병 is when a disease is, uh, when somebody is showing symptoms of a disease, when you have a disease, 발병. It happens, okay? And then, 전염병 is an uh, infectious disease. 감염병 is, I think, the same, infectious disease. 감염증 is also an infectious disease. 증 is used in um, 증상, symptom. So, 감염병, 감염증. 증 and 병, I think they are quite commonly interchangeably used. And 역병, uh, I don't think people use it that commonly. 유행병, I'll honest, I honestly have to look it up, but I, th I can tell you that the most common words that people use uh, are 발병 and 전염병 and 감염증. All right, guys, thank you. I will call it a lesson and come back online at 3 p.m. Korean Standard Time. And before I go to the office, I have to also put in the timestamps for everything I talked about. So uh, it takes about 10 minutes um, as I painfully listen to my voice again. But I hope you have a good day or a good night. Thank you so much for joining me, I know some of you have to go to bed, so you won't be able to join me for the 3 p.m. class, but it's okay. See you tomorrow at a slightly different time. 감사합니다. 오늘도 고생 많으셨습니다. 다음 시간에 만나요. Bye!